Are vapes just as dangerous as smoking? Technically, breathing in anything other than ambient air is not good for your lungs. We don't know yet because they are so new, they are definitely better in some ways, but they are also definitely still really bad in other ways and you're definitely best off not smoking anything at all. Every major cancer society in the developed world has come out saying they are a safer alternative to smoking. It's important to remember that tobacco companies are actively peddling misinformation and funding bias studies, some of which have already been debunked. They want people to mistrust vaping because it eats into their market share. The real studies show vaping is no more harmful than taking nicotine in other non-combusted ways. Although there are some questions regarding the long-term effects. We only have 20 years of data, so someone who has vaped for 60 years may develop issues we haven't anticipated. Used properly, with coils regularly replaced, Vaping is 95 safer than smoking. That's not my statistic, Public Health England. Double down on that claim. It seems that vaping is generally healthier than smoking when compared minute for minute, but you need to take into account the differences in how they are consumed. Smoking is simply less convenient you need to go outside and you end up smelling like shit. People vaping often do it all day discreetly there's now millions of teenagers rolling over in bed at night and taking a drag. They may end up consuming so much of it that it becomes less healthy than it would be to smoke a few cigs a day. It's become as regular a routine as checking your phone. That brings me to the second facet of vaping being more harmful, which I haven't seen mentioned in this thread. Vaping seems much worse in creating gin forcing unhealthy dopamine feedback loops. Kid is feeling stressed about not understanding homework and then vape scroll phone as distraction. This makes them feel better temporarily. They continue using these harmful behaviors as an escape from their stress and suddenly they are addicted to both, and struggling with delayment of gratification the rest of their life. Odds are they are not quite as horrendous from what we have observed, and just in terms of the educated guess you can make by investigating what's inside. In a sense, they are more dangerous, because it's much easier to catch a nicotine addiction from something that doesn't make you cough your lungs out when you first try it and offers a pleasant taste. No, we know vaping is not as bad as smoking cigarettes, but we don't know exactly how bad it is. Vaping is somewhere between breathing air and smoking we aren't sure exactly where on that spectrum it falls. Double-edged sword. They are healthier, but more addictive and harder to quit. As dangerous as smoking? Almost certainly not. Without danger? Also almost certainly not. Definitely shouldn't be allowing youths to use them as they are very much habit forming. Most of the concern is with the flavorings and additives which have some potential long-term harmful effects, but it is still such a new product that we don't have lots of lifelong data on its potential effects. Anyone saying vaping is just as bad as smoking is either being disingenuous or speaking in response to their beliefs or sentiment rather than objectivity. Not even close. Given the relative abundance of cancer-causing chemicals, as compared to vaping logically smoking must be more dangerous. However, social media has brought to light people in their early 20s with copped and emphysema, which used to be a disease for 50-year-old lifelong cigarette smokers. Anecdotally vaping caused sharp pains in my lungs which I never experienced from cigarettes. Anytime I would start vaping again I would get those pains after a few weeks. I've given it all up. Based on my own experience, vaping is often seen as less harmful than smoking cigarettes, but it still carries risks, and the long-term effects are not fully understood. Cigarettes are directly linked to cancer. Vapes are not. Way more deaths from cigarettes. Vapes are still bad for your lungs and cardio, but it's not even close. And yes, we'll figure out more because vaping is fairly new. But let's not act like it's even close. I saw a billboard ad Ib Phoenix that said 9,000 puffs from a vape equals 25 packs of cigs. I laughed. Yes, no, we don't know. They are probably bad in different ways. What is obvious is that breathing in weird chemicals is unhealthy. Choosing to vape because it's maybe healthier than smoking is like choosing to eat horse poop because it's healthier than eating dog poop. Just find something better to do. The world is full of better things to do. No, but vaping isn't safe. They are finding carcinogenic chemicals in certain products and byproducts of vaping itself all the time. You'll take my cancer electronically. Vaping instead of smoking is defined as harm reduction of about 95. Stated another way, vaping is only 5 as harmful as smoking. Not vaping or smoking is best, but if that's not an option, vaping is far less harmful over time. Nicotine is not a carcinogen, the smoke combustion produced and inhaled from smoking traditional cigarettes and arguably the dozens of chemicals the cigarette industry puts in them is what causes the real harm potential cancer. You may have heard of the negative press regarding vaping and the fake weed cartridges that used vitamin E as the vehicle for the THC that kids were buying from street-level drug dealers. 
Even though these illnesses and several deaths had nothing to do with traditional vape store purchased products, the MSM and those with financial interests to stop vaping jumped on this story with vigor. No, 